students welcome back today's lesson is nervous system what is nervous system the nervous system is made up of the brain the spinal cord and the nerves the nervous system also controls your sense organs it would not be possible for you to see hear taste smell or feel without the nervous system now let us learn more about the brain the brain is a control center of the entire body the brain sends messages to every organ of the body through the nerves the brain is divided into three parts cerebrum cerebellum and medulla cerebrum cerebrum is the largest and uppermost portion of the brain it performs higher functions like interpreting touch vision and hearing as well as speech reasoning and emotions cerebellum the cerebellum is also called the little brain this part of the brain is responsible for coordinating voluntary movements it is 1/8 the size of the cerebrum it controls the movement of muscles and enables you to keep your balance the third part of the brain is medulla medulla is also called the brain stem it is the smallest part of the brain it is tubular and connects the brain to the spinal cord it controls involuntary actions like digestion breathing and blood circulation spinal cord spinal cord is a thick bundle of nerves that extends down from the medulla to the lower back it is protected by the backbone now we shall know what is reflex action if you accidentally touch a hot object you withdraw your hand automatically and immediately such actions that are done automatically without thinking are called reflex actions nerve cells or neurons the nervous system is made up of nerve cells or neurons neurons have many branches coming out from the cell body small branches called dendrites extend short distances from the cell body and form a synapse with the dendrites of other neurons a long branch called axon makes connections with axons of other neurons thus nerves extend to all parts of the body through this system and helps in communication between all the parts of the body students you have already learnt about the sense organs so what are the sense organs a part of a body such as eyes ears nose tongue or skin that we used to see hear smell taste or feel things are called sense organs sense organs help us to get information about our surroundings eyes eyes are organs of the visual system they provide animals with vision eyes help you to differentiate colors shapes sizes and distant objects around you the eyes are present in the sockets of the skull eyelids and eyelashes protect the eyes from dust dirt and bright light let's learn more about the eyes the eyes have three layers cornea iris and retina cornea is the first transparent layer of the eye iris is the second colored layer of the eye Within the center of the iris lies a black spot called pupil. Light enters the eye through the pupil. Retina. It is the third layer of the eyes. It acts like a screen on which image of what you see is formed. Eyes are very important sense organs. We can take care of them in the following ways. Wash your eyes with clear water at least 2 to 3 times a day. Avoid reading in a moving vehicle. always read in sufficient light eat food rich in vitamin a here are 10 steps to take care of your eyes ears the ears on the sides of your head enable you to hear and also keep your balance an ear has three parts the external ear middle ear and the inner ear tongue is a fleshy organ in your mouth that enables you to taste The taste buds help you to identify four kinds of taste: sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. 
the taste buds have nerve endings that carry taste messages to the brain. Skin The skin is the largest sense organ. It covers your entire body. It protects you from dirt, germs and getting hurt. The skin contains nerve endings that enable you to detect pain, pressure, hot, cold, touch, etc. Students, here are a few questions that is given to you all. Please answer them in a sentence. Thank you students. I hope that you all have understood these topics. Be safe. Be happy.